Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. On a winter's morning here, but it's um, not too cold at all as we don't have really, really cold weather. Um, well, I suppose sometimes we do. It feels cold. Anyway, let's get on with the painting. So I wanted to do something really bright and uplifting today because I've done a few sort of uh, darker pours which, you know, just good to diversify and do something out of your comfort zone. Um, but it's also good if you want to stick to one particular style and perfect it or keep going with it. That's anything goes. It's your art room, your rules, your way. And don't forget, it's only paint. So don't stress out over it. Righty O, I am going to start with a really nice bright yellow um, that I've got here to coat my painting, but I'm going to do a double, double, double. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This, some of this paint's been here for a week, covered up. So um, it, it's absolutely fine to use paint that's a little bit um, older. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna just blow this out a little bit. I better stand away from this because I haven't got my apron on. And I know that I will cover myself and it will be another t-shirt that's full of paint. My jeans I'm wearing are full of paint. So this paint thin enough to blow. Lovely, lovely. I want to give just, it's a little bit of an experiment again, you know, as you do. I was going to put some dash of, no, I wanted grey in there. So it was the yellow and grey. So I have this grey that I've had mixed up for quite a number of weeks, but I store it in my pre-used glue bottles. So just see how this looks with the yellow just give it a little bit of a Let's see if i blow it out what it looks like to give my base something already um, there behind what I'm going to do next so that's a really good idea to just you know give a really nice background to something even if you're going to do the bloom effect you can do a background like that and do your bloom on it or you can balloon kiss it or roll it or just a nice background I'm just going to go over it with my heat one That looks absolutely fine all on its own. If you want it to leave that as it is, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't or shouldn't. Not any reason in the world. So I've got a nice kind of background there that I'm going to work with. Um, I just fancied doing sort of blues and greens in this. So I'm going to see how I go. I am going to... Um, so it's really mixing styles. I've done, I've poured the paint on. I've done a Dutch pour because it's blowing the paint out. And now I am going to um, do something else, I suppose. Uh, not sure if I want to. Yeah, I might do. So that is Viridian Green. This is Light Green. I'm 
not really giving it any oomph yet, but oh no, this one, sorry, is, is this one Viridian? Must be. This one looks like turquoise to me. I'll have to double check it. This is cyan, CY, cyan blue, it's kind of probably a different name in different brand paints. Uh, not sure whether to go. This is a bit of my berry delicious, so I might be getting a bit too. adventurous here with these colors but we'll see if not you just try some things and if they work out they work out and if they don't they don't don't stress over it um you might put a bit of i think i've got a little bit left in there this is just a bit of the amsterdam white in here with just australian flow troll only so i'll just see if i've got any left little bit little bit this is just cool red. Oop, that was a big blob. Let me dry this off a little bit. This paint's very runny. Not sure whether I should just do that with my uh, just my straw, some of it. Okay, that will be too um, wet to do my next stage, so I might have to leave it because the paint is a lot runnier than it really needs to be. Um, so I might leave it to absorb into the canvas and dry off a bit, which is a good idea. Um, this has got tremendous lace, so I'm happy with that. But this is very runny. So, give it a little go and see how it works. Okay, and I haven't got a balloon blown up, they've all deflated. So, just get hopefully a quick blow up of the balloon, but the lacing in that is pretty gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'd like to do something similar to this on a real big canvas. Um, so it's just probably a good way to test it. So see if that all falls in, then the uh, paint is obviously too uh, runny and you can walk away and leave it. It's not too bad. Just always wipe off your balloon in between your kisses. But I'm hoping not to only use kisses in this. I want to do some rolls in it too. Rolly pearlies. Um, they're always pretty. For people that haven't kind of ever seen fluid art, they're always attracted to this kind when you put the balloons in it, when you use the balloon as your tool. See, this is definitely too runny. So if you were doing it, would step away from it. 
Um, I'm kind of used to it like this, so I make sure I really wipe off my balloon and go back into the same area. But if you find you're just pulling off too much paint, then like I said, walk away and leave it to dry. That's probably enough with that bigger balloon. Now I'll just try my balloon that I have water in. This has just got a bit of water in to give it a bit of weight and kind of gives it a different kind of look when you go back in on the area that you've ballooned or you can just do this type of balloon kiss. But I definitely will let it dry off before I do um, any rolls on it, which I was going to do, but I'm not sure whether it needs it now. It's got so much going on. Even just leaving the area plain like that is quite nice. So it's very bright and beautiful. You can add some sort of stem things. This is just a um, bamboo skewer and you can draw out a bit of colour and add some like nice little wispy bits. Go through it. Just wipe it off in between so you're not muddying up colours. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Enough is enough. I'm going to let it dry. It's really nice and bright. Um, just doing that different kind of Dutch blow thing underneath with the two different colour paints is just something um, that lifts it up, I find, just than a, than a one base colour uh, Dutch pour. Gives it a bit more interest. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just going to let it dry off. I don't actually think I'm going to do the balloon rolls in that one because that's quite lovely as it is. Very bright. Very nice and bright. Well, let me know what you think, you lovely people. I hope that you're all going okay. Um, I know a few areas in Australia have gone back in lockdown again. So you people just... Um, watch youtube videos and create that's a nice pastime nothing better i find um it's really good it's really good for our mental health i believe so all right you lovely people i will see you again tomorrow please uh, let me know what you think of this mix of techniques um and let me know if you've done it you can join our australian acrylic pouring group the link is down below in my description box just tap on the description of this video the title of this video and a box will drop down and you will find a link there to beginners videos videos on varnishing and sealing your work you'll find my amazon shop um have a check out my amazon shop please i'd like to know what you think because i spend a little bit of time trying to put all the things in there that i use um and of course, you know, it's um, if you do buy from there, I get a small percentage, which I've never done in the two years of um, of pouring on here. So um, it's a little bit of a way to get a little bit of pocket money for me, but it does not cost you guys any more whatsoever. So have a check out of my Amazon shop below. Until tomorrow, I will say bye for now. Please take care.